Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. Um, so, first off, apologies if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I am getting over a cold, which is very unpleasant. Either way, we've got a couple contracts that we are going to look at. Ooh, we could actually... Oh, we could recruit Svein, who is a vagabond. Well, we still fit in with our party. He is not all that expensive, actually. Do I have equipment for another person, though? Because that's... Uh... No, not particularly. I need more frontline dudes. I need more shields. That's what I need. Alright, we'll hold off on recruiting Spain for now. Um, now, what are these contracts? Escort caravan to Helvik for 180, con 180 crowns. Or deliver cargo to Helvik for 310 crowns. And they're both going to take about the same time. Well, I guess we know which one we're accepting. And we don't need to buy anything. Okay, cool. Let's uh, be on our way, I suppose. Where the hell is Helvik? About a day to the east. Oh, there it is. We've been there. We have not been to Felsheim, so we may as well stop there along the way just to see what's over there. Ah, uh, ooh, they have a weaponsmith and a taxidermist and a contract, actually, but we're... None of those are useful to us at the moment. But what is that? Hang on, what is that icon? I can't click on it right now. Uh, rich veins. Someone else extreme inflation prices. Oh, all right, well, that's... Okay, so everything here is more expensive, um, but they have a lot more, like, gold and gems available. Interesting. All right, we got our 310 crowns, and we are at Helvik. They do not have any contracts for us. Uh, they have a shield, which we can buy for cheap, but we'd have to fix it up, which might cost us the rest of our tools. Hmm... Hmm. Well, we can... Mm, now we'll hang on to those. Two crowns probably not worth selling them for. Uh, I'm gonna buy the shield. I think it's worth having an upgraded shield in the party. Wait, did I even need a shield? I guess I didn't really need a shield, but now I can recruit another guy, because the shield will give him enough survivability to justify it if he's cheap enough. Sigbold, you're only 90 crowns. Welcome to the company. Um, you're gonna stand over here, and you're kinda trash at things. But you've got stars in the right places, which is nice. Um, have a crummy shield, and have a... Bludgeon? Yes, that's probably... Actually, we've got an axe guy, we've got a mace guy. We could use a sword guy. Oh, that's a cleaver. Screw it, take the scram sacks. And... I don't know that we have the, the money, or the tools to repair that, so I'm not going to bother giving it to him. Here we go. Oh, and we should also just change this around a little bit so our ranged guys are more spread out. Don't want to have them all clustered up on the left side. Well, that, I suppose, is that. So is there a town nearby that we haven't visited that we can go to to A, advance our ambition, and B, find a contract? That's a citadel. What about this? I don't think we've been here. We've never been to Eisenheim, and it is not a fort, so we're going to go there. Eisenheim has work for us. Eisenheim has a lot of stuff going for it, actually. Fletcher, Weaponsmith, Tavern. All pretty good. Mine cave-in and raided are not great, though. So it means all the price are going to be up. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give anybody any two-handed weapons for now. How does that actually compare to the bludgeon? 20 to 30. 20 to 35. 50% ignores armor. 40% ignores armor. So it's slightly more effective against armor. And slightly heavier. Okay. Oh, wait. It might give different abilities, though. Yes. 10 extra fatigue. Ooh, that's actually quite good. And it, like, shreds armor. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll give it a try. Oswald. See how that goes. Now, what are these contracts? Shipment going to Scharfenstein two days away. 30 crown per head, 5.15 and the job is done. Okay, this place is being raided, so there's a reasonable chance the caravan might actually be attacked on the way out. Um, so the 30 per head is pretty good. And 5.50 at the end anyways is fine too. Um, but I want to see what the other contract is. So, brigand stole something, go get it back for 250 crowns. Uh, yeah, 250 crowns is fine. Alright, we're going to try this one first. See if we can't get that done and still get back in time to take that escort. 
Um, our morale is okay. We've got some injuries. Fear of green skins. Oof, that's not great. Um, so you got a broken nose. Wow, we got two broken noses, and Baldwin has pierced leg muscles. Okay, that's that's actually all. Mm, minus five fatigue recovery is not great, but it's not like world ending, so we don't need to throw them in reserve just yet. Plus, you know, they're fairly expendable. Now, follow tracks northeast. That'd be these ones. Let's go find some brigands. All right, good. We caught them. Those guys travel a distance. Um, it's a bunch of brigand thugs. Who, unfortunately, we're fighting in a forest, which means we're not going to get to. Um, we're not really going to get to make great use of our range, which is, you know, not as much of a problem as it would be for a regular company because we don't have proper range for anything, to be honest. Um. Okay, we're actually in an okay spot here. I don't really want to move out to try and take the high ground. I'd rather just kind of wait here and let them come to us, which they should do. Because we have a reach or a range advantage over them. Maybe. But you can just sit here. We'll see if they move up. They're moving up very slowly. Yeah, they don't seem to have any reach weapons, so we're going to let them... Just kind of come to us. Okay, you guys hit anything? I can. Jeez, that hitch. 13% hit chance, though. Nope, oh, missed. There we go. This thing does pretty good damage. Um, they... I, mm, they might reach us, actually. Just have everybody... Wait... I'm not going to bother with spear walls just yet. Try and actually pull them into range so we can use our reach weapons here. Because if we're lucky, we can... Ah, no, nope, the other guys are coming in from the sides. Yeah, I think their frontline guys are going to reach us. Yep. That's fine. They don't get to attack, so... It's all okay. 13, 33... Yeah, just... There we go. Okay, good. So they're all closing in, so now we can try and get some hits in on them. Try and take out two and an axe before he causes any trouble. There we go. There we go. Uh, you can't reach anybody, but I actually want you to back up a step. I'll have Manford back up as well. There we go. All right, two-handed axe man is down. Uh, you're actually also going to back up a step. Can try and form a little circle here. There we go. See bold. There we go. Alright, that should do. And then everybody else can just end their turns. Okay. Alright. Ow. Yeah, that was a reasonable chunk of damage. You're waiting. I... Yeah, we may as well just step out and fight that guy. A lot of reason for us to... Nope. Oh. Alright, well, that, like, fork that Baldwin has is quite effective. Uh, we might as well actually step out and fight this guy as well. That guy's acting in seven turns. Acts in three turns. Okay, so... Ah, I can't do that and attack. Well, what I can do is have Sigbold step up like so. Miss that guy completely. Manford, you guys are you guys are just advancing. This guy doesn't have any backup. You can just go beat him up. Uh, try and throw some rocks at... This dude. Oh, no luck there. Herman, you're staying where you are, because that guy's gonna step in. Actually, he's only got a stick. I don't care if he steps in. We're just gonna go poke at this guy a bit. Up. Bounced off. Ulfert, you're coming down here. Nope. Uh, we can actually snag this bit of high ground with Einar. Yep. Ah. Ah, double damn. That's actually very unfortunate. Roderick. Miss. Okay. Such is life. And Thorsmund up here to help out these guys. Alright, Baldwin, you are coming... Ah, you're not going to be able to attack anyone anyways. You may as well just position yourself kind of between these two in case either of them survive until next turn. Okay, good hits. Better hits. Alright, let's... Start going around this guy here. 
Nice. Okay, that's that sorted out. Let's try and get more people around this dude. Mm, Marquard is gonna have to fight to the uh, fight on the low ground here, unfortunately. Should be okay. Miss. Okay, Stickman takes a swing, takes a swing, misses both. Good. Get some people in here to back him up. Uh, Oswald, you're actually. Yeah, that the might the one additional move, action point Pratal moved. I'm just gonna leave him there for now. That guy is running away like a coward, which is reasonable because we've killed all his friends. Um, but I don't appreciate it, so we're gonna try and chase him down if we can. It's actually a pretty big if in this terrain. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch him. That's fine. Just get everybody in on this dude. Beat him up instead. Take his stick. Yeah, he's probably gonna get away. That guy's trying to run. That guy's... Yeah, he's he's out. I'm not going to bother chasing him if we get the option to... Just end all your turns. Nope, it's over. Alright. Baldwin and Herman leveled up. We took not a lot of damage. Oswald took a little bit. But that's fine. Loot-wise, we got some armor. We got bucklers, short swords, all that kind of stuff. It's a pretty good haul. our pay. Uh, let's deal with our level ups before I forget. Herman, my spear and shield dude. Get you nine lives. Get you... Plus defense is always appreciated. Plus... Mm, I don't really need initiative. You know, you'd actually make a very good backline guy. Maybe I should be leveling you for that. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Get you this. Get you... Initiative. Yo, do I have anyone in the backline who would make a better frontline troop? Roderick. Yeah, I'm gonna swap Roderick and Herman around. Go. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. No. Nope. Put those back. Thank you. Go. Take all those. Take one of these. Take a knife. Oh, just took his armor off for some reason. That's weird. Why is it still. Oh, the guy next to you leveled up. Baldwin. Okay. Give you that. Give you stars and melee defense, hit points and resolve. Okay, well the star and resolve at least is good. Make you into a sergeant. Um, what else do you need? You need melee skills so you can poke things, and you need initiative probably. Okay. Anything else that needs to be sorted? Oh, we got that spare armor. That's right. We should hand that out to somebody. Uh, I guess Oswald can have it. Oof, that lowers his fatigue quite a bit. Ah, well. It'll be fine. Um, and we've actually got the spare thick tunic that can go to Sigbold. Nice. Oh, and we've got all this stuff we can sell next time we're in a, in a decently equipped town. Cool. I should maybe give you this short sword. I don't have any tools to repair it, though. I guess that's fine, because the damage doesn't actually go down when it's uh, injured. It's also a lot less heavy. 30-40 does a little bit less damage. But it does have the uh, plus 10 to hit because it's a sword. Alright, here we go. That'll do. Let's go get paid. Okay, we got our 250 crowns. Uh, the caravan escort is still here, which is good. Also, we need to buy stuff. Which is unfortunate because it might be kind of expensive here. Um, since we're going to do a caravan escort, it actually doesn't really matter. Ooh, actually giving us reasonable prices for these, but I think we should hold on until we hit a larger town. Um, it doesn't actually really matter what quality food we buy, because the caravan's going to pay for it anyway. So we're just going to pick up some ground grain, just to keep us from accidentally triggering any events that would poison the company. And then we're going to do this caravan escort, which will hopefully take us somewhere with good trading. Where we can sell all this uh, stuff that we picked up. And, you know, get some tools and things. Oh! While camping beside the road, a colorful wagon trundles on up, with a sort of clanking, jingling, musical immodesty. He didn't get a particularly big cart, but about 15 men and women inexplicably pour out of its back. Painted faces, musical instruments, struggling balls, long swords for swallowing, wine jugs for fire breathing, the troop of entertainers fan out and demonstrates mini talent shows as though you have already paid for their services. When they finish, they clap, stomp their feet, and freeze before you, hands out, smiles across their faces. A white-faced mime ironically speaks. 
What say you travelers care for showing your 440 crowns to entertain you all evening? We could rob them. <laughs> um, I kind of want to see what Herman has to say, because I think he's an entertainer. Uh, Herman steps forward and picks up some of the troops' tools for, of trade. He tests them out, impressing the entertainers with how well he's able to use their own equipment. The mime asks for hap if they could play a couple of tunes with him. He nods and joins the entertainers, putting on a show that's for the ages. When it's all over, the troop is so impressed that they try and recruit the man. You tell them that ain't happening, and Herman nods. My time is with the peasant company now, but I appreciate the compliment. You ask how much for the show, but the troop leader shakes his head. No need, it was a pleasure playing with you. We've not put on a show like that in some time, and the practice will do us well. Oh, fantastic. Everybody's in good morale now. Thank you, Herman. Okay, we got our 500 crowns. That was a fairly uneventful journey. Um, this place does not have a whole lot going for it. Yeah, tools are still kind of expensive here. They're not giving us a great price for any of the stuff we're carrying. Um, we're not really going to recruit anyone right now. Eh, I guess we've kind of got equipment for them, but... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. They're kind of expensive. Um, let's see if we can find a place that we're likely to be able to get gear around here somewhere. Uh, Haystead. Ooh, large city. Wow, that was convenient. Okay, they have contracts, they have an armorer, they have a tavern, all kinds of good stuff. First off, let's see if they'll give us a good price for this stuff. Yes, they will. Absolutely. Alright, sell both of those. Um, unfortunately, tools are also expensive here. Hmm. That is a shame. Uh, oh, I'm going to get rid of these wooden flails and the stick that we're not going to use. Everything else is worth holding on to, though. Um, we need tools quite badly, and we need food as well. So I think we're just going to have to... Actually, I guess we don't need tools quite badly. How is everyone's gear looking? Fine, fine, fine. Mostly fine. Mostly fine. Pretty beat up. Mostly fine. Okay, so rather than buying tools, if I buy some upgraded armor, which is actually exactly the same price, I get two suits of padded leather, which is pretty good. Um, and then we can use that to kind of replace our damaged armor. I think this is a good idea. And then we can use the rest of our money buying food, which we need a lot of because we have a bunch of people in the company. There we go. That'll keep us going for three days. So now that we've got that sorted out, um, Manfred, I guess, wants... Actually, he wants light armor, doesn't he? Because he does not have dodge, but he's really good initiative. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably a better idea. I need hats for people, too. How am I going to get hats? Hats are expensive. Um, you know, really, the heavier armor should probably be going to the... Oh, wait, you are a spear and shield person. Yeah, take that heavy armor. Einar, Roderick. Um, yeah, we'll kind of spread it out down the line. And that way, Sigbold can have this. And we've got rugged surcoats for the back line. They're... Oh, they're better than the padded surcoats. Never mind. I know, take this, and then the back line can start wearing some of this stuff, because they're less likely to get injured. There we go. Okay, that's good. Good good upgrades. Um, hmm, what are these two contracts? We're likely to be able to get them done in a short amount of time. This guy wants me to kill a bunch of bandit or kill a bunch of barbarians for him for a reasonable amount of money. Can I get more when we're done? No? Uh, you know what? Sure, let's give this a try. I have not raided a tribal camp before, and I kind of want to see what it looks like. Hopefully it's not too far away, because I actually do want to wrap this episode up reasonably soon. Okay, good. We're right over there. Uh, you found the barbarian village in a series of cairns that lead towards it. The stones are stacked in the shape of men, and at the top of each cairn rests a freshly hewn human head. Burke nods. I wonder if they believe doing that gets them closer to their gods. You suspect you have another way to get them closer to their gods. By killing them all. It's time to plan a way of attack. Prepare to attack. What? Oh, okay. I thought that was going to trigger some event. Uh, some barbarian thralls and a few warhounds. Okay, nothing too scary in there. Hello, we're probably not going to get anything super fancy out of this fight. Yeah, they're using, like, bone clubs and stuff, and they're not even wearing any armor. Ooh, I like those, uh... I like those warhound models. Very neat. Well, let's start throwing rocks at people, I guess. Twenty-five. Wow, missed all those. Um, 
We can actually move the line forward a little bit here. Although that guy still hasn't gone. But either way, Baldwin's waiting because... Yeah, so we can... Oops. That's not a good time to miss. Okay, this fight is not starting terribly well for us. Uh, let's see if I'm going to move the line forward. Hmm. What do I want to do with Roderick? I'm hoping that Sigvold can deal with the Hound on his own, or at least with Ulfurt backing him. We might be better off just spearwalling, letting these guys come to us. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do here. Ah, I should have parried, actually. That's good against uh, animals. Oops. There we go. We'll get hits there. There we go. Um, adrenaline. Okay. I don't want to use that ability. Oh, it makes them act first. That's right. That's I remember that ability now. Oh. Unfortunate. Well, the spear wall did not last very long. Sleep bolt's doing okay, though. Well, let's uh, get in there with our sticks. Man, I need better range weapons. It's a shame they're just so expensive, though. Ah, missed both. Ah, jeez, guys, come on. There we go. Alright, now we can start wrapping the line around them here. Uh, you may as well wait, because the line's going to move up in a second. There we go. Wow, that didn't do a lot of damage. Alright, is this guy gone yet? He's not. So he's likely going to move over... No, he's going to go there. To fill in that space. Okay, so we can actually... Have you gone yet, Roderick? No, Roderick is not gone. Alright, Seabolt's coming over here. And he's going to... Parry. There we go. Alright, we've got through that guy's armor. Roderick can come up here. That guy, a quick jab. Yeah, let's try and focus down the unshielded one. Best we can. I don't think we really need his shield, so we're just going to get rid of that nonsense. Oh, that guy's going over to fight Sigbold. Guy's adrenaline again. Okay, so the adrenaline means that they get to go first in the next turn, which is unfortunate, because he's actually putting out quite a bit of damage. Oh, nope, that guy down. If we can't. There we go. Oof. Einar is uh, not looking so hot there. Uh, Herman, you may as well just wait because we're going to move the lineup again. But let's see if Burt can miss both of his attacks. Okay, Manfred's doing fine. Uh, Ulfert, you can scuttle up here. Okay. Oof. go. That's that guy down. Okay, nice. Oof, missed twice. Alright, let's start uh, getting in on this guy here. See if we can make him retreat. Okay. Uh, he seems to be out of adrenaline, which is good. Piling everybody in. Ooh, try and, there we go. Alright, we got a nice hit on him there. He is very determined to kill Sigbold, though. Try and get people in with, uh... Try and beat this dude down. Nope, he's still alive. There we go. Alright. That all worked out quite nicely. We got a few level ups. We got some. Ooh, we got a headpiece. Oh, wow. That's actually quite good. Cool. I will uh, throw that on somebody. Once this loads. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's make sure to do our level ups before we forget. Get some survivability on these dudes. Get some. Ooh, wow. You have good stars. I should give you a proper weapon instead of the spear and shield. So that's actually really, really good stats for a fighter. Well, let's, uh... Make you a backline fighter, actually. Hmm. Do I have somebody who's better suited to spear and shield in the back? You are, Baldwin, actually. Okay, I am going to swap you and Baldwin around. So, take this, take that, take initiative. Go back here. 
And I need Baldwin to give me his tuning fork. Shield, spear. Um, yeah, that should do. Oswald. Nine lives. You are my club dude. You're going to need fatigue, which is fine because you have a bunch of stars in it. Um, hmm, you don't have any stars in offensive stats, though. It's kind of a shame. That's fine. We'll make do. Um, range defense is always good. As for the other one, none of these are particularly great, to be honest. Oh, we'll just give you some resolve. The moment can't hurt. Burke, you have three stars in range. I really appreciate that. Maybe you'll be able to hit something at some point. Boom. That's all good. Holfert, you're using a pitchfork for no real reason, actually. You're also really well statted for a spear and shield guy. Who can I swap you with? I could swap you with Manfred, actually, because he's got stars in range. And initiative. Yeah, right. You and Manfred are switching places. Go. Take this. Put that down. Uh, what was Manfred using? Oh, Spear and Shield. That's right. Or Spear and Buckler. There you go. Manfred gets Pitchfork for now until we can get him a good ranged weapon. Alright, Ulfert. Get you that. Get you... Do, 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 do. Plus defense, plus health, plus fatigue. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, nobody else needs to be leveled up. We've just got the bear hat, which is going to somebody. But who? I guess Ulfert. Ulfert or Baldwin? I'll give it to Baldwin, because he doesn't have uh, proper armor, and he's in the center of our line. Perfect. Okay, let's go get paid. All right, we got our 260 crowns. They no longer have ambush trade routes, which means we might just be able to get some tools here. Yeah, tools for a good price. I love it. Give me some of those. Um, you guys can have some clothes that I don't really need anymore. Just get those out of my inventory, just to clear space. Um, and we'll hold on to all the weapons, because we're going to need those to equip recruits with. All right, that, I think, is a pretty good place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.